Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Real Cooking with Rapid Rod. Today, we're gonna to do a very quick video on a nice lunchtime snack. It's gonna be bacon wrapped around frankfurters in nice buns. On the table here, you see all the ingredients that I'm gonna use. The Smithfield bacon, the potato rolls, the grape poupon, Dijon mustard, Hebrew National Franks, as I like to eat, and the Thuman sauerkraut. Now we're gonna get started in a minute. We're gonna put these things together in a lickety split, so stay with me. Okay, we've wrapped three of the four Franks that we're gonna cook here. We've wrapped them in bacon, so I've left one to wrap on video so you can see exactly how easy it is. In a recipe like this, we did the uh, scallop wrapped in bacon in the last video, and we used toothpicks to secure the bacon around the scallops. The scallops are relatively small, and they tend to fall apart, so the bacon, the, uh, the toothpicks were needed to keep them secure to the scallop. With this dish, you don't really need that, because uh, as we put these on the, uh, the griddle, the bacon will attach itself to the frank very naturally, and there's no need for toothpicks. So you just wrap it around like so. You just let it wind. As you go down, you wind, 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 and you get to the bottom. You just wrap it in there, and bada bing. There you have it. Okay, so we've moved over to the fire, and we're going to be cooking these Franks wrapped in bacon on the griddle. We're going to be using the flat side of the griddle as opposed to the ridge side because we really don't want sear marks. We want to get these, this bacon flush against the griddle so it cooks up. Uh, if you remember in the scallop uh, wrap with bacon video, we basically par-fried the bacon to partially get it done as we did this, the, um, the scallops. The reason was because the scallops cook very quickly. This bacon will get a chance to cook inside and out as the franks cook because it's a little bit of a thicker meat and takes a little bit more time to cook. I also have my trusty bacon press here and that's going to make sure that the dogs stay down on the grill and cook evenly at a very even temperature. So we're just going to throw on the fire now and we're going to go from there. Okay, we got the griddle nice and hot, so we're ready to put our bacon wrapped dogs on there. And you hear that sizzle, that always lets you know that the griddle is ready. Very simple, ladies and gentlemen. We just put it flush down on the griddle like so, one next to the other. No need to even separate them as we normally do. And just put the, uh, the press on top of it. And we'll get back to this shortly when these things are beginning to cook. Show you how that looks. Okay, so the uh, Franks are doing real good. We've got the press on them. Just to give you a look, see what they look like as they're cooking. And they'll come along. The bacon's gonna get done both on the in and outside and the Frank will also be cooked. So we're gonna keep these on the grill for a little bit longer and let them get a little bit more done. And I've taken a little bit of the sauerkraut out and we're gonna warm that up in the microwave uh, just for a couple of seconds, just to warm up the kraut and we put on the hot dogs and finish off the meal. Okay, these boys should be just about ready. We're gonna throw the flame off. Take a peek at them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rebub. This is pretty much exactly where we want these boys. Right? You got the crispy char on the outside of the bacon. You know that Frank is done on the inside. So we're gonna take these off. Let them drain a little bit on the napkin before we set them up in the hot dog buns. Oh yes. And believe me, these are gonna taste every bit as good as they look, and I hope they look good. Okay, so here we are now. The dogs have had a chance to dry off a little bit, and we're ready to load them up into the buns. So I'm gonna do one for you. Basically all we do, we just take one dog, Put it right in the hot dog, like so in a hot dog bun. Take a little of our grape coupon mustard here. I like a lot of mustard, so I generously smear it on. Because I like to taste that mustard flavor. So, I do like a lot of mustard. I like to taste that Dijon twang. Now you can actually use Golden's mustard, brown mustard, or even yellow mustard, whatever you like. But basically, I want the Dijon mustard for that extra flavor. And you just throw a nice, generous helping of your crowd on top of these dogs. 
as much or as little as you like. You grab your favorite beverage, your favorite beer or soda pop. And that's basically what it looks like. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have your bacon wrapped Franks with Dijon mustard and sauerkraut. I'm gonna enjoy mine this afternoon with a nice cool blue moon white Belgian beer. This is a very quick, fun snack. The kids will love, everybody will love. It's very tasty, and I suggest you guys try the recipe if you're ever in a quandary about what snack to make on the afternoon. Thank you guys for joining me in the video. And you know what's coming right now. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm gonna grit, grit, and grease. I'm gonna grit, grit, and grease, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. We will be back with another video very soon. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Thanks so much, have a great day.